Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We're diving into something that feels like it has leapt straight out of a dystopian sci-fi thriller, but is in fact very real, and already marching onto the global stage, China's so-called robot wolves. These are not just ordinary robots or gimmicky tech demonstrations. These are fully operational, four-legged autonomous machines designed with the agility of animals, the firepower of infantry, and the chilling persistence of predators. They have been showcased in recent Chinese military drills and parades, making headlines across the world not only for their futuristic appearance, but also for what they represent. The dawn of a new era in warfare where machines hunt, advance, and fight alongside human soldiers. So let's break down exactly what these mechanical wolves are and why they are causing such a buzz. Built as quadrupedal robots, similar in appearance to robotic dogs we've seen from companies like Boston Dynamics, these machines are specifically modified for combat roles. Their bodies are compact yet sturdy, capable of carrying heavy payloads, climbing rubble, crouching low to avoid detection, and advancing over rugged terrain like mountains, dense forests, and urban battlegrounds where wheeled or tracked vehicles would quickly get stuck. But unlike the friendly robot dogs you might have seen delivering packages or dancing in viral videos, these wolves have teeth, literally in the form of mounted weapons. Some versions have been filmed carrying the standard-issue QBZ-191 rifle of the People's Liberation Army, stabilized on their backs with sophisticated gyroscopic systems that allow them to fire accurately while walking, crouching, or even repositioning mid-stride. Imagine a machine that never tires, never flinches, and can put down sustained fire on command. That's what China has built. Now, here's where it gets even more impressive and frankly a little terrifying. These robot wolves are modular. That means the rifle is only one option. Their mounts can carry infrared cameras for night vision, LiDAR systems for mapping complex terrain, acoustic sensors for detecting gunfire, or even supply packs for carrying ammunition and gear. During recent military exercises with China's 76th Group Army, these robots were observed performing multiple roles. Some advanced ahead of infantry to suppress targets with gunfire, others acted as scouts feeding live video back to commanders, while others trudged along as robotic mules hauling supplies. It's like having an entire toolkit of capabilities packed into one mechanical body. What truly sets them apart, though, is their ability to operate in packs just like their biological namesakes. Using swarm algorithms and AI coordination, multiple robotic wolves can work together to flank enemies, form defensive perimeters, or launch coordinated attacks where one group provides suppressive fire while another maneuvers to strike from the side. Think about that for a second. You're facing not one robot, but an entire pack that moves in synchrony, relentless and fearless. This alone could be as much a psychological weapon as a physical one. Soldiers on the receiving end may find themselves shaken before the battle even begins, unnerved by the sight of mechanical predators advancing with eerie precision and no hesitation. This isn't just speculation either. China publicly rolled out these wolves during the September 3, 2025 military parade in Beijing, alongside tanks, missiles, and aircraft. The message was clear. Autonomous combat robots are no longer future concepts, but present-day realities. They fit neatly into China's larger modernization strategy, which aims to reduce reliance on human soldiers in dangerous missions and demonstrate technological superiority over global rivals. While the United States has poured resources into drone swarms and laser weapons, and Russia has flirted with armed ground robots, no country has so openly demonstrated quadrupedal robots equipped with live firearms and operational deployment strategies. In this sense, China has leapt ahead, taking the bold step of turning experimental ideas into functioning battlefield systems. Of course, this technology raises enormous ethical questions. Should machines be allowed to make lethal decisions? Who is accountable if a robot wolf malfunctions and harms civilians? Could these systems be hacked, reprogrammed, or turned against their operators? These debates are raging in international forums. But the uncomfortable truth is that the technology is advancing faster than the regulations. For China, the calculus seems simple. Fewer casualties for its own soldiers, more intimidation power over rivals, and a flexible new tool for future battlefields. Whether this is progress or a Pandora's box is a question the world still has to answer. On the flip side, it's important to remember that such technology could also have non-military applications. 
A robotic wolf that can climb rubble, carry gear, and scout dangerous environments could be adapted for disaster relief, search and rescue operations, or hazardous material handling. Imagine them crawling through collapsed buildings after an earthquake or venturing into radioactive zones where humans cannot go. However, given the demonstrations we've seen so far, China's focus remains firmly on combat. The symbolism of the wolf itself cannot be ignored either. Wolves are apex predators known for intelligence, teamwork, and persistence, traits the Chinese military seems eager to embody in machine form. A lone robotic wolf is dangerous. A pack is unstoppable. This is both brilliant branding and chilling psychology. It's meant to project not just strength, but inevitability, that once these machines are unleashed, resistance is futile. So where does this leave us? We are standing on the threshold of a new military age, where battlefields will no longer be dominated solely by humans, but shared with machines that can think, move, and kill. China's robotic wolves are the latest, boldest step in this transformation, and they serve as both a warning and a challenge to the rest of the world. Will other nations follow suit and create their own mechanical predators? Will there be international treaties banning autonomous lethal systems? Or will we soon see battles fought between packs of robot wolves across future conflict zones? The answers aren't here yet, but one thing is certain. The wolves are out of the den, and the world will never look at warfare or technology the same way again. If you enjoyed this deep dive into China's robot wolves, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends so more people can join the conversation. And I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Are these robotic wolves the future of warfare, or are they a dangerous mistake waiting to happen? Your thoughts matter, and who knows? Your perspective might even shape a future video. Stay curious, stay informed, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.